Hi, I'm Scott. Today I'm going to show you how I built this wall on Data Yourself. So, super quick video this week. Uh, didn't plan on recording a video, but I thought I'd show you how I built this wall. Mostly through some narration. I got some stills and some video. But what I did first is, well, there's this wall. And then there's actually this one over here. And what these walls are, this is like a log cabin building. And this wall here, there's another suite on the other side. And these are both hair salons. And you can just hear the voices back and forth through the wall. So um, this wall mostly is for soundproofing so that they can't hear them talking and we can't hear them talking kind of thing. So what did I do? Well, first thing I did is I measured up. I built a stud wall and screwed that all together with construction screws and then just leaned it up in place there and repeated that over there. Um, that was 16 inch on center. Why 16 inch on center? Because then everything fits a four by eight square. But unfortunately, these walls are actually about nine and a half feet tall. So I had to buy like 104 inch studs and 12 foot studs and all that to build this wall. So not standard, but built it the best I could. Once the wall was up, I filled it with insulation. I used uh, Owens Corning rock wool. It's really good stuff, uh, really good for soundproofing. Put that up there. And then in the corner, I actually had to go in and it's maybe hard to see. Let me turn the camera around. You can see that I sprayed foam in there. You could still hear the voices coming through in this one corner, but we got it out. So once I put the insulation in, it was time for drywall. And I had a choice. I could have used uh, regular 4x8 sheets and had a bunch of seams. I would have ended up with about a 18-inch gap along the top, but I figured it was easier just to buy the 12-foot sheets. Yeah, I ended up wasting about 40 inches on some of the pieces, but I only have two seams here, one right there, and then the one over there, and then only two seams on that wall too. So a lot less taping and mudding, definitely. Uh, easy way to do it. So put those up, and then used 40-minute speed set. Uh, Put that on there and I used a technique uh, that I learned from, oh, who did I learn that technique from? I think it was Silver Symbol. I'll put a link to his channel down below into that video. But uh, you just use a wet sponge. Let this set up and then use a wet sponge and you just circle on it and circle on it until it's smooth and then you let that dry and then you come back the next day. And if it's still a little rough you just smooth it with a wet sponge again and no sanding it's nice okay so once that was done next day came in used a uh, homex spray texture orange peel the pro can the big one um, and i used six cans for this uh, probably four on this wall and two on that wall or three and a half on this wall and two and a half on that wall to get a good texture um, came out really good and it matches the texture that's on the existing walls down here um, and then final step once all the texture was done just uh, trimmed this up so there was a nice edge right there uh, for the false ceiling and then down on the baseboards down there and then finally the transition right there on the wood overall three-day project not too bad um, it's a contractor job, uh, it's about 2000 bucks, honestly, labor wise and materials, maybe a little bit more, 2,500, I'll do the math when I get home today, but something, if you need to put a sound wall up in your house or something like that, very achievable project. The awesome part about this project is I don't have to paint this. I can't stand painting. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions about how I did this, Put those down below. Speaking of comments, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you do, hit the bell for notification. I've got some videos over here you may be interested in. Subscribe button's right over here. Thanks for watching. Dad it yourself.